lied on you too. Yeah. Me too, Rob. I'm sorry, man. They made us lie. Right? I ain't doing us like this. What other way they ever do us? <laughs> yes, Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. We don't got a lot of time, so we gotta jump right into this. Man. This, this movie means a lot for young guys growing up that whose dads or moms might be able to show them how you could be an innocent kid and you could just get, just get off track. How does it feel to like? be a part of something that might be a lifelong lesson visually mm. for, for people, you know? It's, incre it's incredible, it's an honor. Yeah. Um, I just feel like being in something that's so impactful is just, I mean, it's, 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 it's our honor. And I feel like, you know, it's my duty to, to portray these men right. And, you know, and just, to, just to show the world who they really are. Yeah. And, um, yeah. it's a, it might be it might have a lifelong impact on uh, someone viewing it but it certainly had one on me and I think I'm gonna be able to carry this experience and the fact that I was a part of something like this with me for the rest of my life and it's yeah. that's a remarkable gift well, you know, one thing I want to say like I, I was out here for Eric Garner and, mm -hmm. and we've pro pro protested a lot of killings but I always feel like this is in a way the more tragic story because it happens more often than mm. the police shootings. Is that there's somebody lost in the system yeah. and can't get out, can't yeah. get bail, can't get can't get anything. As as young men, how do you, how do you guys try to navigate and try to you know the the invisible pitfalls that that could happen to, to any black man? How I mean, how do you just try to navigate that? It's crazy. I'm, I'm from the Bronx, so I'm from here in New York, and it's almost built into you, um, especially mm -hmm. when you come from. I mean, I had a curfew. I didn't even have a curfew. I, I couldn't be out at all. I, I was always home um, right after school. I had to be home before dark. There was always a lesson of talk politely to the police, but pray that you never do talk to them, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's me at four. That's me at five, six, seven, eight. And I grow up with this in my head. And so I definitely think that I was blessed to not have experiences to where I was getting involved with, with the, you know, gangs or, or anything that would get me in that situation. But it still sucks to know that I can still be incarcerated right now and I can still be thrown away for something that I have no idea what I've done, you know? Yeah. Did any of your characters, I know, I know you played all the way through, but yeah. did any of you guys like get to talk and to, to your, older, your older self and work with them as characters also? Yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to be able to get dinner with Raymond Santana and Freddie Miaris who plays him when he's older, and John Leguizamo and, and Raymond's real father. Yeah. Um, and all of us just got to talking about, I mean, their family, and they were so generous with how much they shared with us. Um, and Freddie was one of the first people I spoke to about the character, like as a character, yeah. Raymond Santana as a character. I got I spoke with Raymond the person, but Freddie was really, really helpful. He had a little bit more time with the part than I did, so he was really generous. Well, touched her boobs, Kevin. No, 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 Edgy, no. I didn't do anything. Why do you say that you did do it? I didn't do, I didn't do that, Angie. He's telling you that he didn't see nothing. So why are you making him sign this when he's telling you that he didn't see nothing? You gotta put it at the bottom. I'm the one that didn't do the rape. Okay, we'll do that. You gotta sign right here. Huh? I'm not signing this. Angie, please sign it. Come please. on, you wanna take your brother home or not? Yes. Because we can keep him. No, I, no. Angie. I can't, I can't sign Please just sign it, please. Angie. Just because you wave an attorney right now, it, it, it doesn't mean it's forever, right? I don't even... You get your brother home. You and your mother figure things out with a lawyer. We'll clear this all I don't want to stand, Angie. I don't want to stay anymore. I'm tired of being here. I don't want to be here anymore. On, Please sign it. Um, I never got to interact with my counterpart, um, Chris, but I, I did see him a few times. He was a, he was a wonderful man, and um, I, I did watch him in the third episode, and he portrayed Yusuf so well. Yeah. So, yeah. Asante, how was it as you as a young actor working with Ava DuVernay? I mean, she's one of our most renowned directors of this era and, and everything. How was that experience being on this set with 
all this other great talent, you know, how was that for you as a young guy? An out of body experience. You know, I can't really put it into words, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, yeah, just I mean, I think Ethan said it earlier, but it's you wake up every day and think, wow, today I get to go to work with Ava. It's that much of a blessing. She's such a light. She radiates this this positive energy all the time. And, and you need that, especially when working on something as deep and, and uh, impactful as this. You need that positive energy yeah. that's always there for you to lean on, for you to uh, get support from. It's a blessing. I can't say much more than that. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. I miss a lot of great content on Netflix, but this is one of the most important things. That's on Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.